And here is Jane. Well, there's obviously something wrong in her smile. Something her parents could not ignore any longer. I make an intraoral inspection, touch the site, and perceive the position of 21. Eventually, I decide to take a cone beam. And folks, there is no good news from it. The tooth is heavily displaced towards the buckle side, but its root seems normal. And we have enough space to try to get it into the right position. The first thing I decide to do is to bond a rapid palatal expander, which will, after the activations, diminish the bone's resistance to reposition 21 and make some more space. The expander is equipped with the hook just below 21, which will help us not to lose dental anchorage in the first phase of traction. We can now see the profile of the incisal margin of 21 well enough to make a small incision, remove some mucosa and bond a button on it. The traction, performed with an elastic power chain, will diminish the central incisor stork while also extruding it. But, unfortunately, the power chain is damaging the gum. So, I decide to bond a 19 by 25 TMA sectional wire to the adjacent teeth and make the power chain pass over it in a way that it won't touch the gum. After two months of traction, I remove the wire, ready for the next phase. Please, note how the position of the button, which was displaced on the distal side of the clinical crown, has worsened the tip of the tooth, which is now rotated. If I had put the traction point a bit more mesial, this would not have happened. We now bond some brackets on the incisors to get 21 even closer to its final position while correcting the tip of all four incisors. Take a look at the stops mesial and distal to 11, which will diminish the loss of anchorage by stabilizing the wire on it. And, since I forgot to ask for buckle tubes welded on the bands of the palatal expander, I have bonded two on the Ds to stabilize the wire posteriorly. As you can see, the teeth are moving towards their right position without major inconveniences, aside from some gingival inflammation. After six months of interceptive treatment, 21 is in the right position. The poor oral health of the patient did not help the newly formed gingiva to look great. But hopefully, it will improve over time. Oh, one more thing. Just to make sure that 21 stays where we put it, I splint it with the adjacent teeth, waiting for Jane's permanent dentition to complete. As we can see from the control CBCT, the incisor's apex is still forming and it did not deform because of our tractions. And there she is, smiling at me. Not only because I've just removed her appliance, but also because I gave her a new smile to grow up with. See you at 12, Jane, and brush your teeth!